Hello my fellow miner, perception is a funny thing. This is how the media sees a hacker, and this is how a media sees a crypto miner. The similarities are very striking I must say, but usually we would also wear gloves. I honestly don't get why they never depict us when we have succeeded in getting half a mega hash per second more after weeks of hard work than we look like this. Oozing of success and self-confidence. A striking successful beauty. However, self-perception can also be misleading, uh, while in reality when we have gained half a mega hash more per second we look more like something like this. Yeah man, I'm the master of mining. Or something like this. Hi mommy, after weeks I finally did it, I finally did it. Yes, half a mega hash more per second, yes I finally did it. While the mom goes, oh that is nice honey, yes you are so good honey. Luckily for you, I'm here to help you achieve that half mega hash per second more. We will be testing NB Miner with four different drivers. 470.74 in HiveOS, 495.46 in HiveOS, 472.84 in Windows, 497.29 in Windows. If you have already watched the card introduction then feel free to skip ahead to the overclock settings. Quickly moving on like a ninja, uh, we're going to have a look at the RTX 3060. LHR version 2 from Soltag Gaming, it has been working perfectly, in very good quality to be honest. The RTX 3060 Ti from Asus, their Tough series. No, that is actually the wrong picture. There, now we have the right one. The graphic card comes with two balls of steel in each fan. Military grade. Yes, yes, a piano was dropped on my head as a kid, so I am legally excused. Then we have the RTX 3070 iChill 4X from Inno 3D. It's actually surprisingly good. The quality is top notch. I have not changed anything. It's super cool actually. And then of course it comes with lots of RGBs that you cannot turn off via the software because the software part sucks. But it doesn't matter because more RGBs, more mega hash. Up next we have the RTX 3070 Ti from Sotag Gaming, also known as the DIY 3070 Ti because it drops thermal padding and comes with screws that have fallen out. I actually expected the quality to be uh, on pair with their RTX 3060, oh boy was I wrong, what a pile of poop. And then we have the RTX 3080 LHR from Gigabyte Vision Overclock Revision 2. It's actually quite good looking, but I wish you could get it in black brushed metal instead. Even though it doesn't really matter because it's part of my mining rig and I never see it. And now it's time for the last card, the RTX 3080 Ti from Inno 3D iChill X4. Yes, I'm very well aware that it looks exactly like the RTX 3070 edition, um, it is. Actually the pictures are also exactly the same, so I had to take the one with the box. I said their graphic card is good quality, not their software and definitely not their homepage. That is a very good example of what happens when you take a back-end software developer and put him or her to make a homepage. If you haven't subscribed, Uncle Donkey would very much like you to hit subscribe and afterwards that bell notification. Yes, the bell so you can get spammed even while you sit on the toilet. I mean, who doesn't want to get a random notification at random times around the clock? It is very nice. So remember to hit the bell notification and you will get unwanted messages all the time. It's time to have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3060 LHR version 2. Please note that the top part is NB minor running in Windows with driver 497.29. The bottom part is NB minor running in HiveOS on driver 495.46. Check the top one if you are interested in memory temperatures. Now let's have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3060 LHR mining Ethereum. I love the core clock to 1552 and set the memory clock to 2600 in HiveOS. That is 1300 in Windows. Windows and NiceHash users can create batch files based upon what is seen here. 
Now let's have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3680 Ti LHR Mining Ethereum. I locked the core clock to 1350 and the memory clock to 2100, which is 1050 in Windows. Please note that mine is one of the older Hynex memory cards and not one of the newer ones, so I'm quite limited in how high I can clock the memory. If you have one of the newer ones, you should be able to do 3600 in HiveOS or 1800 in Windows. If you have one of the older ones like me but only with two fans, then you may be limited to only 850 in Windows, while doing maybe 1700 in HiveOS. So lots of lovely different combinations there. Now let's move on and have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX. 3070 LHR Mining Ethereum. I locked the core clock to 1125 and the memory clock to 2600 in HiveOS, which is 1300 in Windows. If you use Windows or NiceHash, feel free to create batch files based upon what you see here. Now let's move on and have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3070 Ti Mining Ethereum. I locked the core clock to 1050 and the memory clock to 2400, which is 1200 in Windows. If you don't have the DIY edition like I do, where you have to assemble the card yourself and apply new thermal pads because screws fall out and thermal pad fall out, also known as top quality from Sotac Gaming, then you may actually be able to clock your memory a lot higher than I have. If you use Windows or NiceHash, feel free to draw inspiration from the batch files displayed here. Now let's move on and have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3080 LHR Mining Ethereum. I locked the core clock to 1500 and the memory clock to 3400, which is 1700 in Windows. If you use Windows or NiceHash in Windows, feel free to create batch files based upon what you see here. The time has finally come to have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3080 Ti with the EVGA BIOS. You can check out the video on my channel if you haven't already watched it. I locked the core clock to 1200 and the memory clock to 2600, which is 1300 in Windows. If you use Windows or NiceHash in Windows, feel free to create batch files based upon what you see here. Ah, the time has finally come to have a look at the average results for all the cards. First up is the average result of the RTX 3060 LHR version 2. With driver dot 74, 36.1 MHz per second at 103 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.350. With driver dot 46, 35.8 MHz per second at 103 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.348. With driver.84, 35.1 MHz per second at 98 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.358. With driver.29, 34.9 MHz per second at 102 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.342. Now let's have a look at the average result of the RTX 3060 Ti LHR. With driver.74, 43.7 MHz per second at 122 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.358. With driver.46, 43.7 MHz per second at 123 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.355. With driver.84, 35.7 MHz per second at 109 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.328. With driver.29, 42.9 MHz per second at 123 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.349. Now let's have a look at the average result for the RTX 3070 LHR. With driver.74, 45.8 8 MHz per second at 111 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.413. With driver.46, 45.5 MHz per second at 110 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.414. With driver.84, 45.8 MHz per second at 111 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.413. With driver.29, 
44.8 MHz per second at 110 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.407. Now let's have a look at the average result for the RTX 3070 Ti with driver.74, 58.3 MHz per second at 183 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.319. With driver.46, 58.0 MHz per second at 182 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.319. With driver.84, 58.3 MHz per second at 183 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.319. With driver.29, 57.4 MHz per second at 184 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.312. Now let's have a look at the average result for the RTX 3080 LHR. With driver.74, 76.2 MHz per second at 241 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.316. With driver.46, 76.3 MHz per second at 240 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.318. With driver.84, 76.3 MHz per second at 241 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.317. With driver.29, 75.2 MHz per second at 240 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.317. 313. Now let's have a look at the average result for the RTX 3080 Ti with the EVGA BIOS update. With driver.74, 88.2 MHz per second at 261 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.338. With driver.46, 88.2 MHz per second at 261 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.338. With driver.84, 87.0 MHz per second at 258 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.337. With driver.29, 87.3 MHz per second at 261 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.334. Wow, that was a crazy amount of numbers. Well, this is a very interesting result. When I did the exact same test with the T-Rex Miner, which you can find on my channel, um, it was pretty clear which drivers would win in both Windows and Hive OS. Uh, but in this case, it looks like a mix. I will let you decide on which driver you prefer to use, and I recommend that you go and check out my uh, exact same video with the T-Rex Miner, because that has some very interesting results. Now, when talking about previous videos, you should actually go check out my channel. I get a lot of questions about why don't I cover this and that, and in many cases I already have. Here you can see some of the videos on my channel where I cover both the normal mode for the miners, which are also called performance mode, and also the alternative LHR modes, which are low power modes. And if you haven't seen yet, I have also covered how to mine Torncoin in both Windows and Hive OS, and also how to actually exchange it. And then there is of course my very best video that no one have ever seen, uh, my RTX 3080 LHR Ergo LHR Unlock. Yes, that is Doom Donkey there. Funny enough, that is my absolute favorite video, but uh, I guess that uh, people don't really want to watch it. Which is kind of sad, because he's uh, kicking ass and chewing bubblegum, and he's all out of bubblegum. That is of course a reference to They Live from 1988, and also Duke Nukem, my personal hero. I hope you enjoyed the video, or at least found it very useful. If you did, please click a like on the video. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And if you know someone who could benefit from the video, please share it with them. See you in the next video. Subscribe, crazy echo, echo.